is the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord? Amen. Now, uh, the Lord Jehovah spoke with me yesterday at night. The Lord, the Holy God of Israel, the eternal King, Jehovah El Olam, the God of Israel. Uh, he spoke with me in a very tremendous way yesterday. God the Father, the Godhead, the Lord God, Jehovah Elohim, came to talk to me in that part of his conversation last night. He showed me the universe, and he showed me how his servant, the one that speaks with you right now, shook the entire universe. And in that very dreadful and fearful and shocking conversation, he said, Look, my servant touched only two galaxies and the entire Earth and the entire universe are now shaking in fear. Again, the Lord Jehovah, he showed me yesterday how he took me a decade ago, 10 years ago, 10, one decade, 10 years ago, and how he used me to shake the entire universe. to shake it very, very violently. And there are other parts of this conversation that I don't share here, but it was a very fearful thing to see how his servant shook the entire universe and the earth also shook in there. And then he said, look, my servant only touched two galaxies and the entire Earth and the entire universe shook very violently. And then he said, how about if he touches more galaxies? Then I realized that he was saying that very soon he would touch more galaxies to shake the heavens above the earth. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 26, is very clear. He promises to show wonders in heaven, to shake the heavenly bodies, and he promises the same in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verses 30 to 31. Beloved people, these are the dreadful days of the Lord. These are the days that the Bible refers to as afterward, meaning the days when the Messiah is about to arrive. The Messianic days are at hand. They have drawn nigh. And the message of repentance has been preached. It is still being preached. The message of the return to righteousness is still being preached. The message of the treasure of holiness as the single most important standard of heaven is still being preached to the ends of the earth. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, is still being preached. For without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. Has been preached. He is still being preached. Will still be preached tomorrow morning. At this hour, the nations have already heard the announcement on the glorious return of the Messiah. 
The cripples are walking. The blind can now see. The deaf ears can now hear. The deaf can hear. The dumb can speak. HIV AIDS has been healed and tested in senior top university hospitals in this land. Aga Khan University Hospital, Nairobi Hospital, many hospitals all over this country, provincial general hospitals. Blood groups have changed from B minus to what positive. And now they have babies. They are babies. Tomorrow as they go to church, they will carry those babies with them to church. They will still have those documents and their blood groups will still have changed. Leprosy has been cleansed. Spinal cord injuries have been healed. Paralytics are walking. The lunatics, those who are possessed of evil spirits, have been restored. And are still being restored. All diseases under the sun are being healed. The dead are resurrecting. The dead decomposing cops are now resurrecting. And the gospel of the kingdom of God is being preached. So the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. Prepare ye the way. This is him about whom it was written in Scripture, in the Bible, when the Lord God promised the nations of the earth that I'll send you a messenger to go ahead of you and prepare you and lead you to the promise. May those who have ears prepare in holiness and righteousness and turn away from sexual sin, turn away from lies, turn away from the gospel of money you see in many, many nations and churches, including Nairobi here, many churches preaching money, falsehood, false prophets. The Messiah is coming. May those who have ears prepare for the glorious coming of the Lord. Shalom tot araba lahem. <laughs>